Hello, thank you for taking time to view this tutorial video on assembly modeling. In this tutorial, we will be putting together all the different parts and sub-assemblies into this bigger assembly called the landing gear assembly. So let's begin. We will start off by creating a new assembly document. And the very first thing that you need to do is to look for the base part. So for the base part, all you need to do is download some of the files um, from the, our website www.3dclassworks.com slash space.html You should be able to find some of these parts in that training folder. To start off, we will insert this part called the fixed mount into our assembly. Right, initially, you should be able to move the parts into um, in our graphic area, or if we hit on the OK button, it will automatically place this fixed mount to the assembly origin. Next, we will go to Insert Components to bring in the actuator cylinder. Okay, we will bring in the actuator cylinder and place it somewhere here. And if this isn't the orientation that you're looking for, you can always rotate the model. So remember, right click on the model, hold on to it, and drag the model around. Now, let's add some mates. So if you want the two holes to be concentric, I click on the mates command and select these two cylindrical holes. Okay. And if I want this face to always be coincident to this face, just select the two planar faces and the graphics preview will show you a coincident mate. So there you go. We have inserted our first two mates. Now next, we are going to insert the actuator piston. So I go to insert components. Okay, browse for the actuator piston and place it somewhere here. Let me just reposition it. Okay, rotate it somewhere here. And if I like this uh, cylinder and this piston to be concentric, all we need to do is pre-select uh, the faces that I want it to be concentric and click on mate. And if I like this face to be always parallel to this face, just control select both faces and choose parallel from the mates folder. So there you go. We have created um, another two more mates. The next component we would like to insert is the strut, which you model in tutorial one. So once again, we go to insert components and browse for the strut. Okay, let me place the strut somewhere here. And if I like to rotate the strut around, just rotate it around to about here. Okay. And this time round, I would like this hole of the strut to be concentric to this hole over here. So we go to the mates folder, select this face and this face. And I want to bring them together, so I will select this face of the strut and make it coincide with this face of the actuator piston. Okay, that's another part it created. The next part that we are going to insert into our assembly model is the link arm. So we go to insert components, go to browse, and we'll search for the link arm. Let me just bring this part and place it somewhere here. If I want to reposition it, right click on it and rotate the model to reposition it. So once again, I want the two holes to be concentric and I would like this face of the link arm to coincide with this face of the strut. So that's another part created. Okay, just move your move your model around. Okay, you should be able to see how the model interacts.
The next step, we will be inserting the oleo strut cylinder. And we are going to mount it to the bottom mount of the fixed mount part. So let's go to insert component. Click on browse and look for the oleo strut cylinder, which is this one. Okay, let's place it somewhere at the bottom. We'll rotate it the other way around. Okay, and if I want the two holes to be concentric, activate the mates command and select the two holes. Okay, and if I want this face to always coincide with this face, there you go. Just select the faces. Okay, let's bring this up a little here. Okay, let's reposition this part. I know initially, it, because of too many degrees of freedom, it's very difficult to control uh, the orientation of your parts. One quick solution would be to fix a particular part. So let's take for example, if I like to rotate this arm without having the actuator piston move. So what I can do is right click on actuator piston and fix the part. You will notice that there's an F that will be displayed next to the actuator piston. And this is where I can reposition the strut. Okay. Once you're happy with the orientation, what you can do is just go back to the actuator piston, right click on it, and select float. There. Okay. Next, I would like to connect, um, create a concentric mate between this cylindrical hole here to this hole found in the oleo strut cylinder. There. As you see, the more parts I put in, you can see some form of some form taking place. You know, it's starting to look like a landing gear. The next part I would like to put into this assembly will be the oleo strut piston. So let's look for it. Go to insert component, browse, and look for oleo strut piston. Okay, I'll place it somewhere here. Okay, maybe I'll just rotate it around. I'll make sure that these two cylinders are always concentric. So now you can see the piston is able to move in and out of the oleo strut cylinder. Now, the next part will be the wheel hub. Okay, so let's go to insert component, browse, and look for the wheel hub. Okay, I'll place it somewhere here. Okay, I'm going to make sure that this hole of the wheel hub will be concentric to this cylindrical shaft of the oleo strut piston. So I click on mate, you should be able to see a very nice preview. And if I want the two faces to be always touching one another, let's select this flat face and this flat face here. There you go. And if I like the planar face found on this boss to be parallel to this face on this boss here, let's select both faces and choose Parallel mate from the standard mates folder. 